mug. Yes, and your zebra mug. Oh, thank you. Yes, isn't that excellent? It was from an anonymous friend once upon a time. Wow. I know, right? Did you get it like a secret Santa? No. I like got an Amazon package with an anonymous note. Wow. I know, right? How fun. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think I... I think I have an idea who it is. I'm pretty sure it was a priest in the diocese. Okay. Who uh, sent uh, to our office mugs for myself and Sarah Zeman at the time. Wow. Mm -hmm. How thoughtful. I do very much like my zebra. Friends, welcome to Freshly Brewed, the vlog uh, episode. Welcome to episode six. Episode six of the Freshly Brewed vlog. Uh, it is the nexus. The nexus of the month. Between nexus of the months, I don't. I don't know how to appropriately use the word nexus, <clears throat> uh, but nonetheless, we are at that point between February and March, and we are just glad to be able to recap this past month. We've done a lot. We have, Max. How's your first month in the office been? It's been good. I've been loving life at the OEC mm -hmm. Office of Evangelization and Catechesis. That is correct. And working on it, love begins here stuff. So that'll be here before we know it. It will be. I should really not drink so much coffee on these days. I think this is like cup eight. Megan, what else have we done this month? Wow, okay. I feel like I think the month went super slowly. I think it went super fast. But I thought that was January that went slow. I think January did too. I think it's the winter. But mm -hmm. then I was trying to recap what happened, and I felt like not a lot happened, but it was because it was such big stuff. Big stuff. We were planning on talking a lot about the work on Freshly Brewed. I don't know, maybe we mentioned so that in sad. January. We didn't really get there. We'll bring that back in a future month, but that's because we had two too much incredible, work. <laughs> too much work, yes, but also two incredible opportunities uh, to speak to two people that um, talked about theology of the body with us on the podcast, and there was like a little bit of a hint of work, but we talked to Christopher West and Mike Mangione. The other big thing we did, um, in addition to planning for Love Begins Here with our host parish leaders and all the people uh, that are going to be helping us organize Love Begins Here is we had our Bosco Bash. Bosco Bash. It was an excellent time. We had really good intentions of vlogging that and then gave you zero footage. But I even was like, I'm going to bring the camera down to the event because this is something we want to vlog. And it stayed on the counter didn't happen. the whole time. But we did a lot of great thinking about the future year and years of work with teens in the diocese. And then the real thing that Ooh. we spent the most time on preparing... Actually, we spent more time before February. But there's been a lot of wrap-up in February. In February. Mm -hmm. It's Frasati Fest. We had an excellent weekend at the Kalahari, the first weekend of the month, and we have been waiting to debut the full vlog from Frasati Fest that is going to drop right now in the middle of this episode. <gasps> Pull up a seat, grab a treat if you didn't give them up for lunch, and settle in to enjoy your Frasati Fest recap. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Versati Fest 2020. Come on in. Hi friends, this is Max Rutler, the intern here with the ladies from SMG. 
Yeah. SMG represent. We are, where are we at? We are in the Kasani Hey, freshly brewed vloggers. This is Max here with Bishop Hying, and we are at the 2020 Frasati Fest. Uh, so this is Bishop's first one. Bishop, what are your thoughts so far on Frasati Fest? I'm super excited to be here. It is my first time, as it is with everything, since I've only been in the diocese for seven months. But anytime I'm with young Catholics, I draw such great inspiration and energy from their example. So this place is filled with young Catholics, high school students from our diocese, who are on fire with love for the Lord and really want a deeper relationship with Christ. And we just draw that strength and energy from each other. Super excited to celebrate Mass tonight um, as we gather for the evening festivities. All right, what's up folks? We're at the Kalahari. Uh, we're about to go to the Matt's talk session. Yeah, we are. Uh, Michael's giving a teen testimony. And uh, uh, we got Dan, a keynote, giving uh, his Matt's talk after this. So we're ready and excited. Here we go. Check it out. Leg is this? The Vatican. I asked that yesterday though, so it's okay. I didn't even really look at it. The and Vatican I was like, oh wait, it's the Vatican. Flag. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> it's, it's Yikes. Exactly a country. Yeah. We have our own country and our own language. It's pretty neat. And our own flag. Yay, Vatican. I'm really looking forward to Mass with the Bishop tonight. That's going to be really fun. Oh. We just had adoration, which was awesome. So many people got to go to confession. There are lots of priests here. It was great. My favorite part of the weekend was confession. My favorite part of the weekend was adoration because it's something that I don't have a lot of time for normally, which I am going to be working on after this, but it's always really nice to get to do it here with all of these other people. All right, yo, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, Megatron John with my boy Megatron Ron. And uh, today we're about to go head on over to the water park. So I uh, hope to see you all there. I'm gonna ride some slides. I'm gonna, um, do some fun stuff and uh, we'll see you guys there. Hey, it's Dave Bauer. I love Frisati Fest because I love the youth that come here. We're all getting closer to Jesus and it's bringing us to heaven. I love you guys. Is there anything particular in the homily today or something that you'll really want to get across to the youth? I think tomorrow is the solemnity of the presentation, you know, when Simeon um, receives the Christ child in the temple and is just filled with joy that the Lord has allowed him to encounter Christ. And I think it's just the joy of knowing Christ, the power of our faith, and the yeah. conviction that comes that we need to share that good news of the gospel with everyone that we meet. What shocks me when I read that passage, nowhere does God tell Simeon that the Messiah is going to come as a baby. So he doesn't know what to expect. Like, is it going to be a king coming in the door? Is it going to be this mighty military man riding on a horse? The Messiah comes as this tiny, fragile baby. So that's cool. My favorite part of the weekend was Mass with the Bishop. The dance is going to be pretty fun too. I brought my light up cross. Um, it's going to be only going to be 45 minutes, but that's okay. We'll just make it count.
meeting friends, meeting new friends, and getting back with people that I've met before. Is there any way that you're gonna enter Kasadi Fest today as a king or as a baby? I think I'll just come in as a vision. That's a good thing. That's a good one. So thank you for following along. Hope you see more content coming from Frasati Fest 2020. Bishop, could you give the vloggers a blessing? May Almighty God bless you, hold you close to his heart, and as we celebrate the presentation, may you know the joy of loving Christ and bringing him to others. We ask this blessing, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, thanks, Bishop. Oh, thanks, Max. <laughs>
uh, I'm really excited about this social media fast thing that I'm doing because it's not like all of Lent, so I'm not really treating it like a challenge. But I'm not going on on at night, and I'm not going on on Sundays. Wow. What about you? What are you excited about? I am excited for no uh, heated seats in my car or my <laughs> heated blanket. Actually, I'm not that excited about that because my butt has been cold in my car rides lately. But it'll it be a, a good, good sacrifice. It's a good sacrifice. One we don't normally think about, but right. And I'm sure we'll talk about a lot more sacrifices next month. We'll actually talk about the theme on the podcast and on the vlog. But in March, we're coming at you with sacrifice mm. um, and all of the good things and the beauty and the truth and the goodness of sacrifice. Is it crazy to think that all of our month of March is all directed towards Lent? We're fasting the whole, the month, whole of month of March. What are we going to do? Just continue to sacrifice because that's all we can do. <laughs> all right, friends. Well, until your next break from the Daily Grind, keep, keep it, it freshly, freshly brewed. brewed.